Well, 680's Richard Southern joins us now. And Richard, it was a record smashing Monday on the markets. Wall Street closed at its highest level ever. Yeah, that's right. They were partying like it's 1999 on Wall Street, Francis, because for the first time since December 1999, the Dow, S&P 500, NASDAQ Composite, and Russell 2000, the four big U.S. stock indices, all closed at historic highs on the same day. So big rally on Wall Street. The TSX closing at a 17-month high, just above the 15,000-point mark. We've seen a lot of money come out of bonds and go into stocks ever since the U.S. election of Donald Trump, and that is continuing in a big way. Price of oil helped as it gained $1.80. Russian President Vladimir Putin voicing his support for OPEC's planned production freeze. I want to mention as well, Francis, we're looking at the market reaction to news of that earthquake in Japan, and we're going to look here at a live shot of the, the Japanese harbor. Of course, big concern is about uh, tsunamis, and we've certainly seen um, some reaction in the currency markets with the Japanese yen selling off, <clears throat> excuse me, against the U.S. dollar. That has improved a little bit. Um, the Nikkei, or which is the Japanese stock market, looks set to open lower as we continue to follow this story out of Japan, Francis. And you saw there on the screen, uh, where that was a, from a Japanese news station saying that a tsunami has reached the coast. So a 60-centimeter tsunami has actually reached the uh, Fukushima coast. Uh, they are expecting waves though, up to three meters. So we'll uh, keep on top of that for sure. Yep. Let's talk about WestJet because they've now started serving McDonald's coffee on its flights. Interesting. Yeah, it sure is. They're going to serve uh, McDonald's coffee on every single WestJet flight, and they serve some 30,000 cups of coffee a day on uh, WestJet. Interestingly enough, WestJet says the coffee served on its planes will be different than the coffee served in McDonald's restaurants, and that's because people's taste buds are a little bit more muted when they're at altitude, so the coffee's going to be a little bit stronger. Air Canada serves second cup coffee, and uh, Porter Airlines serves Starbucks. When asked if WestJet will co-brand with McDonald's on other products, like Chicken McNuggets, its CEO, Greg Soretsky, said it was possible. So you might have some WestJet chicken McNuggets coming your way mm. before long, Francis. Okay. <laughs> I get a happy meal. Uh, Win Mobile has announced that it is changing its name. Yeah, it's going to become Freedom Mobile. So big rebrand here by the uh, cell phone company. And uh, besides the name change, uh, it's also upgrading its network. It's going to start rolling out faster LTE service here in Toronto, as well as in Vancouver. Shaw bought Wynn for $1.6 billion. A deal closed back in March. Wynn now has 1 million subscribers coast to coast. Presence. You know, we saw this toy uh, just before the break, but let's uh, talk about it a little more. So apparently it's the toy that all my kids are going to want this Christmas. Is that true? It, it is. This is the It toy uh, this year, and you can barely find it as a result. It's called the Hatchimal. It's an animatronic toy created by Toronto-based Spin Master. Uh, it's a little stuffed animal, but it comes inside a plastic egg. And kids have to play with the egg in order to get the Hatchimal to peck its way out, to get it to, to hatch. It can take up to 40 minutes to get this thing to come out of the egg and at which point it needs to be raised. You gotta feed it, take care of it. It sort of starts off as a baby, progresses through life. They're saying it's kind of a, a mashup between a Tamagotchi and a, a Furby. Mm -hmm. It sells for 69 bucks, but you can barely find it. So a big uh, winning product here, it seems like, from uh, Toronto's base Spin Master. They're rushing to fly more of these things in from their Asian suppliers, Francis. Bit of a bizarre toy this holiday season. It's a little season. bizarre, but you know, whatever sells, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Thanks.